So I've got this guy and he takes me down and he gets me in a headlock, head and arm. And if you guys ever end up here and, and you let the guy grab your wrist, you know, you got this far, you're starting to get a little nervous. You know, some guys will bring their hands together to make sure that he can't get it inside this gap. Um, you know, but this still leads to other problems. So if you guys ever get caught, the moment you get caught, go ahead. He pushes it down. You're resisting. You're going, oh no, please don't go in there. But he gets it. The moment he gets it, the problem is most people, your natural reaction is to turn into your opponent like this because you're trying to get your arm out. So the, the idea is if I can turn on my side and scoot and pull my elbow out, that would be nice. The problem is you're now fighting the submission. You know, like you're fighting it head on. So in other words, by me turning on my side, there, if, if Pete notices and just feels, when I turn, it puts pressure against his thigh. My arm right here puts pressure against his thigh by me turning. And now as he bridges his hip, like it's a direct fight. And then if he locks his hands and he pulls my head up, like I, I can't move and it's going to be too late. The first thing I want to do, the second this even happens, the guy pushes it inside. He's going to reach for the head because that's the key to stop what I'm about to do is locking his hands and pulling my head in some way, shape or form and putting weight on my chest like this. That's what makes the move happen. The second it even starts, he may even be locked, but watch my legs. Go ahead and lock. Just to, no, I'll see your hands. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring my legs this way. See that from, if I was turning in, I bring my legs away, I look to my left, and I high bridge. Start to put weight on my chest, you can feel. Now I've, I've bridged up high, and now he's struggling to stay locked. He posted because he didn't want to fall on his head. If he locks and he successfully pulls my head up, bringing me that back, go ahead, bring him back, pull, 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 pull. Now, look, now you gotta activate here because this is way above my head. Yeah, do you see how I, I changed the position? Keep going, I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead, lock. And then I'm like, oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, this is way up high, that's why I'm not tapping. Oh, got me. Okay, do you guys see that? So I have a little bit of time here. So I was turning in when he grabbed my wrist. Remember? Bring your thigh up. Yeah, he went here. I'm like, uh-oh. My legs turn away. He's going to lock around my head to pull. Get the weight on my chest. Get that weight on my chest now, Pete. Yes. I walk and turn this way. Going towards my knees. He's not going to be able to pull me back. Look what I have now. See my hand? I've got his leg. So if he continues to try to do the submission, it's not going to hurt me right now. I'm going to keep getting up. And then I end up right here. Now Pete's doing a little jujitsu rolling around. Some people will do that. More likely they're going to come here. You're going to go to double leg or climb on his back. He will probably react with a sprawl over here. And you'll end up like this but at least you didn't get submitted. If he did do his little forward roll that he liked to do, I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. And just come up on top. So now it's his turn. Boom, I've got him in the position. Look, I've got the head elevated. I need to elevate the head so he, he doesn't get this. So let's say I gain control where I go through all my methods. Boom, he comes out, I'm going here. Yeah, you're go it's good to go early. If you know they're gonna do the move, just go early. You can't wait too long. But once here, he high bridges. See how I'm posting? And he keeps going. And I'm like, oh, sh damn it. This guy counted my move. Tap the last five guys with that. Pass my guard. Boom. He comes in. Psycho Troy goes to catch the Tommy. Oh my gosh, you're kind of heavy, Pete. What's going on here? Okay. I'm like, I want to turn in to pull my elbow. Oh, oh, he's got it. Lock it up. Ah! Oh, my head popped out early. Even better. If your head pops out, my head popped out. Did you guys see that? Let's show that variation. It's the same thing, but sometimes your head will still be controlled. And then other times 
your head, like when you look, it'll pop out early. If it pops out early, we're here. And remember, he can go to my back just like I can go to his. If he goes towards my back and you feel too much, just get your guard and then get what you can, right? Nice little triangle. Anyway, any questions on this move? Remember, just think normally, you turn into your opponent. We're always kind of taught that. Face your opponent. So when Pete's here, normal standard jiu-jitsu gravity and stuff, you turn in. Because if he turns in, he might escape his elbow and go towards my back. And like he has control. This is normal stuff. So it's counterintuitive to turn your back or to go the other direction. So you're turning in at first. Turn. Yeah. And then this starts to happen. Boom. Go away. And immediately before I pull the head and get enough weight, he's going to walk and he's going to bridge. Bridge. Make it yes. And walks around. And now I'm losing the position. And he's out of there. Okay? Go ahead. Let's back. Start your hands. One, two, three. Yeah, bring it back down. The more I'm like this, the more I'm, I'm very safe. So, very important to, to get that arm up. I didn't talk about that enough. Let's go. Straighten the arm, too. Straighten it. Make sure the champ. Bring it up. Okay, look. It's kind of like a, in a weird way, it's kind of like a hitchhiker. If a guy gets an arm bar and you turn your thumb and you hit try, it's very similar. The guy's going here, you're gonna look, bridge, straighten, come around. Now you've got, in wrestling, what we call high crotch, single leg, change off to a double and look around the corner and take him down or go to the back. 